Okay, hello Year 9 and welcome to um, um, a small exploration of boiling, which you can do in your own kitchen. So I've just got a saucepan of uh, cold water in the saucepan here, and then I've got a cooking thermometer, uh, which is kind of uh, clipped onto the back of the metal of the pan, ready to go. And you can see that um, the water is up to a level where... Um, it covers the very bottom of the thermometer, but it doesn't needlessly go up the scale here, the, the tube which carries the liquid. It doesn't go up there. So you should aim to set it up if, like this if you're able to, to get the equipment. Please only do this if uh, your parents let you do it um, and under their supervision. Um, so um, first, what we're going to do here, we're going to heat up cold water from room temperature and see what happens to its temperature um, as we put um, energy into it by heating and then look carefully about what happens at boiling point. Now, um, really important to notice that the unit of temperature we're using here, uh, if you can see this old cooking thermometer that I got off my mum, is not in degrees centigrade. In degrees centigrade, I'm sure you all know that uh, that the um, melting point of water is uh, zero degrees and the boiling point of water is 100 degrees. And that isn't the case here because we're not working in degrees Celsius. We are working in a different unit, a far less popular unit in terms of science, and it's Fahrenheit. Um, and if we go over to our table that I've got here, ready to, to take my data in. Um, I've just noted down that the boiling point of water is um, 212 Fahrenheit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat it up from room temperature um, around 70 degrees, and we are going to observe carefully about what happens to the um, temperature change around boiling point. Now, just a couple of considerations for doing it. So, uh, those of you who um, who are able to do it might have a thermometer similar to mine. You can see that between 350 and 400 um, Fahrenheit, uh, there are 10 graduations of that scale, which means each small non-zero graduation um, is five degrees Fahrenheit. So that's not great, is it? So we call this the resolution in science, the smallest non-zero uh, reading a measuring instrument can take. And that's not great. It would be far better for me as a scientist if the resolution was one degree or even half a degree Fahrenheit. And it would allow me to, to monitor smaller changes in temperature, which will give me a, a, maybe a, a, a bit more of a clearer picture about what, how temperature is changing as I put um, heat uh, energy into the water or maybe it doesn't change, we'll have to see. So the final consideration that I'm going to um, that I'm going to explain to you before I start is that you can see that at the moment the level of the, the liquid in the thermometer is not yet onto the minimum of my scale. The minimum of my scale I can see there is 70. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up until it hits 70 and then I'm going to start my um, stopwatch. So, my, so I'm going to put 70 degrees here and I'm going to, once it hits that, I'm just going to simply press start and then I'm going to notice, note down the times at which it passes the 75, the 80, the 85, um, and so on, all the way up to 212. So uh, you're going to need a bit more space than I've left myself here. Um, so you can set out um, your table like this. Do use a pencil and ruler if you've got one. You're going to need a whole bit of paper. Uh, a stopwatch, a cooking thermometer, um, a pan, and obviously your parents' permission. Um, okay, thank you very much.